Hi, I'm Land Insider, and you're watching A Queen Who. The queen who's best to tour with is, you know what, Jujubee. She's such a great, calming presence on that tour bus and just on your days off with the calm, the calm energy that comes with sober Jujubee. <laughs> The queen who snatched game well me. I'm gonna go classic. I'm gonna go Chad Michaels with her share. That was um, just mind blowing to me. I've had the pleasure of working with Chad many times when she's done her share. Uh, even last night I did her Christmas tribute. Um, and her in character is share is just so unbelievable. You forget that you're watching a drag queen. The queen who talks too much is, she's not worldwide famous, but she's uh, definitely a California legend. That would be Dolly Levi. She is, um, the stories that she has told of her career in film and just as a female impersonator of her career has, she never ends. We're gonna go with the Belay Brothers. They have this, it's so weird. Um, I hope they don't get mad at me for talking about this so publicly too, because I know they're very hush-hush about their, their uh, characters. But they're so weird because they have this tendency of killing off their contestants, and I, I, don't, I don't quite get it. A queen who I'd love to collaborate with, um, I'm just gonna say it, I'm gonna say Alaska. I have wanted to um, record music and make music for a minute. Uh, she's been very um, sweet and sharing with me some contact information about who I could reach out with. Um, it's just her style of music, her approach to music, I think is just something that would really, um, I'd be able to align myself with. So I think collaborating with her would be really fun. And the fact that she's super famous doesn't like, hurt at all either. Ooh, the queen who I borrowed the most makeup from has to be Wet n Wild because I steal from Rite Aid all the time. So um, anyone from Wet n Wild when it gives me some makeup, I'm happy to take it. <laughs> the queen who needs to get knocked down a peg. Um, speaking of peg, we're gonna do PEG because have you seen the studio? I mean, come on girl, calm down. You don't even have a bidet in your bathroom, so. The queen who's the best drinking buddy is gonna be cornbread. Uh, the first night we met, long before Drag Race, we both were at this outdoor pride event and they kept coming in and asking us if we needed anything and they didn't have any booze, so we sent them to go get us beer. Um, and come to find out, we also love tequila as well. When I'm doing like a low carb diet, it's very hard to drink with cornbread because you can't enjoy cornbread with no carbs, right? So I can't really drink my vodka around cornbread, but we do get in with the tequila and the beer. <laughs> the queen who I would like to be with in a zombie apocalypse is gonna be Tammy Brown because I think the zombies would just be so confused by her because they're gonna wanna eat our brains and they're just gonna be like, I don't know what you're saying. I don't understand. And it's so wacky and you just can't help but just be like, yeah, cool. I, don't, I, I can't eat those brains. I really want those to be around for as long as possible. Queen who's a scholar of drag. I mean, I obviously it's Sasha Velour. She's just so eloquent in her knowledge of queer history and drag history is just endless and uh, she was very kind to give me her book and my favorite part and I appreciate it so much is that it's just filled with her personal drawings because that really helps us who can't read.
a king who deserves more recognition, I'm gonna go classic. I'm gonna go Stormé Delarvere. He was the live singing MC host of the Jewel Box Review. And there's a lot of stories and rumors about his um, participation in the Stonewall riots. And I think what really stands out to me about him was that um, even after he retired from being like uh, male impersonators, what drag kings were called before, he would walk around town and check in on his babies, which is his lesbians. He was just a badass bitch dyke who held it down, and I really think the world should know more about him. Thanks for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe to the PEG YouTube channel. And they did pay me to say that.